Hey guys, Randy with Pete's RV TV here today. Another quick tip segment for you with Pete's RV. I'm at the Burlington, Vermont location. Beautiful day out here. When you come to an RV dealer, does it look like this behind me? Uh, just It's a huge yard, tons and tons of campers to look at. You're not quite sure what you want, so I'm just going to give you a couple tips on pre-qualifying if the unit's right for you. Uh, the first thing we want to look for is the cost of weight. Make sure our tow vehicle can pull it. Um, and then there's a couple other things that I'm going to show you real quick here with Josh. Uh, what I like to look for when I'm trying to help somebody out sell a camper, or what I look for when I'm buying a camper myself. So let's go into the yard and uh, we'll take a look at a couple things. Okay, so one of the things that's really important to me, obviously at this point, you know if you want a travel trailer or a fifth wheel, um, you know what your truck can tow if you've got a good salesman. He's gone over that stuff with you. So we started pre-qualifying you for it. But there's some things inside the camper that are very important that can make or break a camper for you. And a lot of people don't test this stuff out until they get it home, which uh, is not something I like my customers to do and that's why I'm sharing this with you today so first and foremost in a travel trailer if you're a tall guy you got to be careful on the beds. some of the beds are a little bit shorter there's two sizes out there um, there's a shorter one and a longer one so definitely want to check to make sure the beds gonna work for you before you uh, think about purchasing that camper so hop on the bed lie down on it feet aren't hanging over I don't have a TV in front of me that's hitting this is a place where I could lay and sleep comfortably that's a camper for me if that does not work for you this is not going to be a good camper for you. So number one's the bed. All right, number two, sounds kind of crazy, the toilet. If you can't sit on the toilet without having your knees up in your chin or something like that, maybe this is not the unit for you. So lie on the bed, sit on the toilet, make sure you've got room enough around you to do what you need to do. That's number two. All right, number three, stand in the shower. Some of the smaller units out there, the lightweights are going to have a little bit shorter ceilings. You may not have a shower dome in it. Showers are usually raised off the floors in the travel trails a little bit to compensate for that trap down there. So if again, if you're a taller guy, you can't stand in the shower, that might not be the unit for you. So number three, stand in the shower. All right, so the fourth thing, and it's not the most important thing, but it's probably my favorite out there uh, and it's a little bit more important if you're going to be staying in the unit for a longer term stays other than just the weekend shots with your family is sit down somewhere where you can be comfortable where you can see the tv or just relax after a long day at work or being at the beach all day so find a good place to sit down and relax and just kind of take a load off and, and enjoy your new rv um so those are the four things i like to look for when i'm trying to help a family purchase and pick out their rv especially if they haven't been in it before and the doors are always open at both dealerships at pete's rv so definitely come on in if you're in the area walk through the units try my test That'll better help you shop the units out there and choose the unit that's going to work best for your family so you don't end up with one that's not going to work for you that you dislike using every time you go out. So thanks again for watching Pete's RV TV with Randy today. Come check us out on our Facebook page. We'd love to have you there. And uh, thanks for taking Pete's RV and happy camping.